entered the second lap of the race at last. Ishigami in the one car trails Beckenbauer in the 12. This is the power section, which means Ishigami has a real chance to turn things around. Aiba in the nine is now clear of the five. He's in place for the podium. Go for it, Aiba. Don't let those German cars beat you. The racers at the front start their second lap, one after another. As the vehicles zoom over the line, the roar of their exhaust is deafening. We're closing in on the last section of the race. It's a nightmarish 874 meters downhill. And here he is, a man who solidified his name in Sector 3. And there's the 16, 18, and 86 all ascending toward the toll plaza. We're seeing real sparks fly between these three cars. As the race enters its second lap, can we expect to see more upsets from Kanata Katakiri? Kanata, I know you can do this. I don't want you to be a huge star or anything, but I also want your dream to come true. Gosh, super cute. Yeah. Huh? What the <laughs> crap? I let my guard down. And with that, the 14 cars still in the race have started their second lap. Things are really heating up, Kogashua. I'd say so. Most drivers tend to conserve their tires on the first lap. Generally, every year, the second lap of Odawara Pike's Peak tends to be where the race shakes up. We're going to see these motorized monsters unleash all of their power as each of them attempt to claw their way to the front of the MFG pack. In eighth, Akaba in the two car continues his merciless assault. Next up in his sights, he's got Taylor in the eight. Watch out! Here he comes! And with that, the two car has overtaken Jackson Taylor in the... Several points along Sector 1 can allow a vehicle at full throttle to exceed 200 kilometers per hour. I bet some viewers are curious about our drones and how with only a max speed of 180 they're able to keep up. You see, they can make turns much faster than the cars, so any losses on the straights are clawed back in the corners. Beckenbauer is determined not to let Ishigami gain any ground on his hard-fought lead. The pristine white Porsche came in and zoomed past the rest house in first place. A true changing of the guard. It's hard to imagine anyone getting past him at this point. The young man they call the Stuttgart Slayer is absolutely obliterating the two-time champ right now. The nine cars in third, the five cars in fourth. Otani in seven is holding firmly onto fifth place. However, the battle for sixth is tightening up. We've got six slightly ahead, but two is hot on his heels. Is Kaito Akama about to make his move? This could be the moment! And the two car successfully overtakes the six! Putting him in sixth place! The Yashikita gang are flying through the course in their usual formation. But about six seconds back, the red car speeding up the hill. Out of the 15 vehicles competing, the Toyota 86 GT is the least powerful. So in this section, he's got no choice but to eat the other driver's dust. <laughs> Back in last place, 13 has finally entered into Sector 2. Beckenbauer's starting to pull ahead to the top while Car 1 can't keep up. 
and slowly the gap between them widens, with Ishigami gradually getting left behind. We're starting to see some activity with third place behind them. Despite maintaining a consistently good speed, Nine's cutting down on their pace. At one point, he built a nice gap between him and Five, but it's almost entirely evaporated. I'm noticing some understeer from number nine. I'd wager his tires have gradually been degrading. Copy that. First, though, I've got to catch the AMG in front of me. I can see his bumper through my windshield getting bigger all the time. Now to switch up cameras. Here come the 16, the 8, followed by the 86. These three have been close together all throughout the race. Maybe we should start calling them the Yashiki Tagiti game. Not to imply that their machines are on equal footing, though. To be honest, the 8.6 is clinging to the cars in front of it for dear life. I imagine being constantly chased like this is frustrating for Yashio and Kitahara. They can run as much as they want, but he's sticking to them like a shadow. Kakaru Yashio, age 22. Nozomi Kitahara, 20. Kanata Katagiri, 19. It's a clash between young, talented drivers full of pride. But which of them will have the last lap? and Oishi in the three, fighting over eight. You want to see what a 5.2 V10 can do? I'll show you! a beast! Once he finds his stride, he really shows off his true might! And now he's jumped up into fifth! A great example of how your qualifying position doesn't matter at all! Here comes seventh! Yanagita in the sixth car! Behind them is the group dueling over eight! Taylor in the eighth, and Oishi in the three! And it looks like three has decided to try pulling ahead. It's a risky exchange, and they're close to making contact. Is it going to work for him? Yes! He's leaving eight car behind! The question is, will he catch sight of the prancing horse's tail one more time? The stampeding bull gives chase, pursuing its eternal nemesis. These two Italian roadsters were quiet in the first half, but now they're out to shatter the German power block. We're closing in on the last section of the race. As the racer's tires continue wearing away, things will only get harsher. And the Hakone Mountains are coming up, a section that demands a driver's full attention. It's a nightmarish 874 meters downhill. And here he is, a man who solidified his name in Sector 3, the racer behind the wheel of the bright red 86 GT. The way he's plunging down the road says it all. This young man doesn't follow the same rules of gravity the rest of us mortals do. He's a new breed of driver, imported from England. Kanata Katagiri is making a move! Let's go. 